makeup free all show long and unveiling our true selves. Everyone in the audience, by the way, is in solidarity with us. We are all makeup free today. And we're actually teaming up with Real Simple Magazine. Uh, they're gonna do a special glow down. Um, one of their readers has uh, relied on makeup for her life, honestly, and she's gonna embrace some change. Nice. I'm excited so about Brewer and hairstylist to the stars, Chris Appleton and beauty guru Mally Roncall are with her backstage. So how's it going, guys? Hey, Dora and Valerie, I'm here with the beautiful Steph, who has always relied on wearing a lot of makeup. So, Steph, tell us why. Um, I've just always been really insecure. I was bullied when I was younger, and I just I feel like I need a change. Right. Okay. Well, it's going to happen right now, all right? We're going to start with a little bit of a wipe. Let's make it happen. We're taking it all away. It's the glow down, babies. Let's get ready. This is going to be good. Back to you, Drew. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see your final look later. But right now, it is time for a Bear's Beautiful Roundtable with some, I can't believe. I I'm, can't believe. I'm, I'm so, so excited. That's so excited. All right. Uh, please welcome, who are joining us, also Makeup Free, um, our dear friend and co-host of CBS Mornings. It's Gail King. <laughs> We fell in love with her on The yes. X-Files, The Crown, and Sex Education. Please welcome yeah. actress, author, and all-around female powerhouse, Gillian Anderson. We're just such big fans of yours and your new book, which we're going to get into. I love your TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get into it. Why okay. don't we all have a seat? Have a okay. Seat. okay. So, did anyone, it's funny, I don't go into these things thinking twice about them. I'm very makeupless most of my life. And yes. the monitor is playing some real tricks on me today. Every time I get a glimpse of myself, I notice myself like adjusting my hair as if that's gonna like change it. Like what, how do you guys feel? Jillian, let's start with you. I mean, you look so damn hot, but go ahead and tell us how you feel. I haven't really looked yet. Over the, over the, oh, hi. Um, I am hiding behind my glasses a little bit. Um, I, I often don't wear makeup when I'm doing um, like TikTok posts and stuff. Um, but what I am aware of is the fact that I'm, I'm very aware of the lighting. Like I, yes. I, I do it in a span, I walk around seeing where the light is best before I push record. So that obviously means that I care and try and uh, get the best lighting, which is, you know, it, it doesn't always translate, but I, I'm, I am vain. It's funny, because I went into Jillian's room and I said, are you going to leave on your lashes? Because I'm trying to say, can I leave on my lashes? And she said, no, nope, I'm taking all of it off. So I said, okay, then I'll take all of it off. Because listen, I don't have hangups about, you know, taking pictures of myself without makeup, but it is different when you're on national TV. Mm -hmm. It is very different when you post it on your Instagram or you're just walking around. But I have experiences when I'm walking around outside and people will hear me talk and they said, you kind of sound like Gail King. Are you her? <laughs> and I go, yes. And then they'll say, are you in disguise? <laughs> I go, no, this is my face. This is, this is my natural beauty. And they go, oh, but you look so good. And you know that's not what they're thinking. Just for someone to say, are you in disguise, is an indication of how drastically I think I look without makeup. Mm. But I don't want to be a slave to it. My mother mm. used to say, don't leave the house without makeup. Always have your makeup done. And I decided I don't want to be that guy. I don't. Well, it's interesting that you bring up your past or childhood mm. uh -huh. because I wondered... Where is it in our makeup, pun intended, mm -hmm. that we get sent some type of message of how we're supposed to present ourselves, what's best, and what is less than? And 
I think some of it's parents, right? I mean, yes. or, mo or moms. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have that. I've met a couple actresses along the way who have said, when I was 16, my mom took me to such and such store and, and showed me how to apply makeup. Now, my mom's never worn makeup unless it's a, you know, unless, a, you know, on the very rare occasion. And so that's what I grew up with. And so it's quite normal for me to experience that for myself and to see her that way. But I can imagine if you have a mother who takes an hour, hour and a half in the morning to get ready before she leaves the house, or that's what you were told when you mm -hmm. grew up, it's harder to let go of that and to allow yourself to be imperfect. I think there's something to be said for, um, by the time you get to this age, there's such a relief of, you either take me the way I am right now, or we're not, I mean, this is it. This is, I'm lovable just, like yeah. this. Because yeah. of my heart. Um, okay, we're gonna get into your book, which is all about yes. women's fantasies. It's the most amazing book. And tell everybody about the book because yeah. it is just so powerful, so incredible. Want is the title. Uh, th there was a book in the 70s by Nancy Friday called My Secret Garden. Yeah. Which I don't know about, yes. and now that I know yeah. about it, yes. I'm going to re read it immediately. It yeah. feels like the female <laughs> Kinsey -like revelation. Yeah. The Secret Garden. It's huge yeah. at the yeah. time. Yeah. So, this is, so this is along that idea, I put a call out internationally to women to write to me um, anonymously. Um, and write their, their deepest, potentially darkest, most delightful, joyful fantasies. And women from around the world sent in what ended up being about the equivalent of 800,000 words. Wow. And um, it's a real, you know, it's joyful, it's profound, it's sad, it's incredibly um, educational. It's, um, there's a lot of vulnerability. It's just, it's a really fantastic, collection of women. Well, we actually have um, a group who are joining us um, and OBGYN, uh, Dr. Camila coming out to sort of talk about that, you know, mental, physical connection. Um, so we'll be right back. I want to ask her a few questions. I need 